Hey guys, John V from Phone Running here. I'm at Barcelona MWC 2014. I'm with the Alcatel team right now, and I'm checking out the Alcatel One Touch Pop S7. Now, you could say it's a mid range device due to the specs and whatnot, but quick hands on look. Now, right off the bat, the nicest part about the handset, the S7 series here, the Pops S7, is that they have removable back covers. So, if you want a little bit more of a personalized touch, you don't want a static black or white phone, they offer this in up to six different colors. So, I have two of the ones here you have gray, you have yellow, pink orange, blue, and of course white uh, if you want that, but it's just nice giving that f uh, flexibility when it comes to personalization. And some of the key highlights here, I'm going to go really quick. Uh, first thing here I know is just the 5 inch QHD IPS display, so 960 by 540 of course, it'd been nice if it was, you know, higher, seven, uh, 1080p panel, but still nice by itself. It's fully laminated and utilizes this mirror vision technology, and it offers pretty good viewing angles. Even at extreme angles, it's still quite visible. I don't have the uh, brightness set at the uh, brightest setting because it'll look kind of washed out in the video, but you could kind of see here how it is. Still detailed enough. You're looking from far distance. You're not going to notice a whole lot of difference in terms of, uh, you know, uh, detail. Um, degradation still nice panel and it's also worth mentioning that it has an olophobic coating uh, on it so as soon as you take out your pocket you put it in put it out it automatically keeps it you know cleans it down so it looks pretty clean every time you put it in out of your pocket so uh, real quick around the device, uh, below the display, you have your typical set of Android capacitor buttons. Now, the cool thing about it is, like, is, is how it's discreet. So you notice it kind of blends in with the border right there. You tap the bottom, it has a subtle glow to it, which is really nice. You have a front facing, I believe VGA camera on there, nothing spectacular. Uh, you have the uh, earpiece, the left side of the phone, it is clean, nothing there. On the, back, on the bottom, you have the micro USB port for charging data connectivity, the microphone, and on the right side, you have your physical buttons, the power button right here, and the volume control, nice and tactile, really good feel to them. On the top, 35 millimeter headset jack, and in the rear, you have a 5 megapixel autofocus camera with a flash, you have a noise cancellation microphone, and towards the bottom you have the dots here for the uh, speaker. And like I said, uh, it's really nice that the plastic back covers are interchangeable, you could get different colors, better personalization. Good amount of sturdiness for a uh, plastic phone, you know, it's not quite as, you know, uh, elegant compared to some of the other, uh, you know, higher end Alcatel smartphones out there. I'm going to try to remove the back cover here for you so I can see what it looks like. So we just remove the back cover like so. Fortunately, it doesn't look like you have access to the battery, but there is a micro SD card slot so you can cr increase its storage capacity. It comes with four gigabytes of internal memory, and of course, you could supplement that with the uh, card. Now, it's running Android 4.2 to KitKat, which is fantastic. So you get a pretty up-to-date uh, experience here and has Alcatel's user interface running on top of it. It's powered by a quad-core 1.3 gigahertz processor. It has, uh, I believe, uh, four gig uh, one gigabyte of RAM. I was gonna say four there for a second, but it's one gigabyte of RAM. And honestly, the combination, and of course the, ninth, the uh, QHD display, uh, resolution, it makes for a pretty good, reasonable experience here. Pretty fast, doesn't seem too choppy. Uh, the notifications panel is pretty much the same as you'd expect and uh, you have the ad panel you could see what they throw on some animations on there. The battery is a 3000 milliamp hour one. It's available with a 4G LTE connectivity, HSPA plus, the usual arsenal of connectivity features, which include Bluetooth 4.0. You have uh, a GPS with, uh, uh, with also NFC on board. So that is a quick look at the Alcatel One Touch Pop S7. Uh, again, the highlights being that nice 5 inch IPS display. You have the personalization aspect to it. And no word yet on pricing or availability. We'll hear more about that as it gets closer. So, if you guys want to learn more about this handset, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. John V. Thanks for watching.